Hello, Jan here and I've come for a walk on the hill and I'm looking at moss again. My great love this year is moss. This whole hillside is covered in moss. There's a blanket of it and earlier in the season when I brought you out there wasn't much else in the woodland that was green. Now as you see everything's taking off. The ferns are everywhere. The brambles, the little herbs are coming up and the moss is remaining a carpet underneath. I think it's doing a fantastic job of keeping the moisture in for these plants. Um, many places Elsewhere in the countryside have dried out now, but here the moss, this carpet, is acting like a, a vapour cushion and keeping this hillside moist and juicy. So that's lovely, but that's not why I brought you here. I always look at this moss when I pass it. This is one of my favourite walks and this is one of my favourite places to stop and just touch the moss. I feel so delicious. And I always stop and admire how incredible this moss is to be growing here because it's growing on... I'll show you what it's growing on. It's growing on this rough stone. They resurfaced the path for the walkers and they use this, these rough chippings that they use for making roads with. And they covered this bank above the path with these, um, these chippings. Very ugly. It was, it was a scar through this beautiful landscape at the time. Within a year, the moss had started to grow. Within two years, this bank was completely cloaked, as you see it now. How amazing! It's not, it's not very promising, is it? <laughs> to live on that. As I've talked about in other videos, the moss doesn't need to send its roots down into the soil. It just needs something to cling to. This will do. That's good enough and a moist place to live. So this moss has turned this very ugly, unpromising place that most other plants would really struggle to find a purchase in because the stones are deep, you know. Other plants, like this beautiful little herb here, the ferns, they would need to wait until enough soil had landed or washed down from above to form some kind of pocket where they could get their roots in and make a start. The moss doesn't need that. So it can very quickly clothe a new surface. or an old surface that was being disturbed regularly and has now got some stability. And it's forming a very important function in the life of this woodland. It's holding it all together. It's holding the soil together. And even where there isn't soil, it's creating soil. It's a life giver. So, moss is a pioneer, it can colonise new landscapes very quickly, protect the soil and create soil because 
as now that it's here, instead of the soil that comes down, most of it being washed away, or the soil that comes in the air, getting washed away very quickly through the stones, the, the moss gathers it. So here's a bit that's been scuffed up by a badger. You see, it's beautiful, fern-like, frondy, frondiness. <laughs> they will collect the soil, save it in this spot. And so over time, as the moss lives here, living its mossy life, it's gradually collecting a thicker and thicker and thicker layer of soil. And then the little herbs, the ferns, the other plants, even a little tree. Here's a little tree sapling. They can now get a purchase because the moss is keeping the moisture in. It's not just a dry bunch of stones. It's, there's some soil there. And also, when the seeds come floating along in the wind, the moss will capture them and keep them here. So this is a life nursery. This moss is creating the conditions for life to be restored in this dead place as it was. And now look at it. It's gorgeous. Just in this area here that you can see, I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight saplings. This is a forest starting now, where it could not have done before. It's this stuff, it's this amazing stuff that allows things to start again. The hope of the future. Areas that we have made a mess of. Sorry, nature, very deeply sorry. Areas that we have made a mess of, the moss can start to rehabilitate them if we just leave them alone. Very hopeful. So as I was just touching the moss, I realised there's a lovely little snail crawling his way over the surface. Snails like moist places, he wouldn't be here if this was dry. The moss is creating conditions for him to live and this has just reminded me that it's not just the plant life that this moss is supporting, it's supporting tons of animal life too heaps and heaps of tiny weeny microscopic creatures up through the water bears, gorgeous creatures, up to the little insects and even some mammals, little mice and shrews will be making their homes in here under this thatch. Just in the space of three years I think this has become a beautiful, beautiful, rich, complex web of life in this little patch here. And it's all thanks to the moss. Lovely.